the Italian Football Podcast. We have to talk about the Serie A TV rights scandal because it is a scandal. Um, I mean, th- this crisis has plumbed to new depths. A, a new Serie A season has begun and there are numerous big markets internationally, uh, big countries around the world who don't have TV rights um, for for Serie A. And it is absolutely shocking. There's lots of anger around the world uh, among uh, Italian football fans. Um, I've just been speaking to a lot of fans uh, and a lot of uh, a lot of people from those markets. Um, I mean, for... Well, some of them now have it because lots of, um, you know... Yeah, lots they... of last-minute de- deals, which, which I'll come to. I mean, for 48 hours before the season started, uh, here are some of the big countries that did not have TV rights. India, home to 1.4 billion people. Indonesia, 375 million people. Australia, with a huge Italian population. Uh, Malaysia, France, most of Scandinavia, Austria, Hungary... Nigeria, Morocco, much of South America, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Barbados. I mean, I could go on and That's on. That's like and on. two billion people. That's over two billion people yeah. that can't. That, I mean, it's just. Yeah. I could go on and on and on. As Nima said, though, Serie A managed to do some last minute deals, which I frankly was very surprised on, considering it's Fed Agosto and usually Italians, let alone Italians at the Liga Serie A, usually. <laughs> That you don't hear from them for, for, for days or weeks when it's Fed Agosta. So I'm frankly surprised that they managed to close some of these last minute deals. Mm. Australia, apparently, they closed four hours before the season started. Um, Australia, New Zealand, that is, yeah. Yes, Australia, New Zealand. India um, secured a frankly embarrassing deal from, from what I've been told, speaking to, to, speaking to, to Italian journalists, uh, football journalists in, in, uh, in India. Um, with an online esports company to show Serie A matches online, but they can only watch the games online on computer, only <laughs> on computer. There's no working app yet. Um, and the deal came so late that basically the company, through no fault of their own, really, uh, we're not ready. They're not ready for it. So there's nothing, well, they did, yeah, exactly. there's nothing just... on TV. Apparently the first games, lots of complaints about quality and sound. What, a couple of the games, apparently, I found this hilarious. There was double commentary on them. <laughs> on the game. So somehow, how is that even possible? Like, <laughs> like, like double double commentary. And that was from Kalto oh, Chacha, who, who were great guys. Uh, I love that. I love them. I love uh, that. They were they were making fun of it. Um, of course they were. It's hilarious. <laughs> which is brilliant. Um I also like that Poland <laughs> Poland uh, I was speaking to a to a journalist, Martin, lovely guy, uh, who covers Serie A in, in Poland. Uh, he could sent me a voice note saying that Poland has the first match day, but it's nobody knows if they will have it any other more ma- anything else for the rest of the season. <laughs> it's unclear if they have the rights after that. I don't know how the hell that works out. How you can have match rights know. for the first day of the season? Well, I can tell you how. If what they've done with the UK is, is and, and and Northern Ireland is is very instructive of how they they do deals. It's like. The UK deal is just a joke. They've turned the Serie A rights into some sort of a cow that's been slaughtered where the prime cuts go to TNT, the two games a week, and then the rest is 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 on is on one football, but some of it is free, some of it you have to pay for, nobody knows that's how an much OTT and where. That's OTT as well. That's that uh, over the top. It means oh. means basically online. Like it's, it's, okay. it's online streaming, yeah, online, yeah. Yeah. It's just it's weird. Well, it's, it's unclear, actually. Nobody actually knows with that either because, I mean, that was secured a few hours before the season started as well. Um, and it's free for the first weekend. So that those eight matches that you said are free, everybody can, can, can watch them online. But nobody knows yet, as far as I know, um, what will be the cost afterwards. You know, will, will you have to... I mean, it seems like it's... Because the other two games this weekend, the ones that were on TNT, so the Inter Genoa game and the Roma Cagliari game, you could buy them on, on football for four ninety nine. Um, so it's unclear whether uh, I would imagine because they're going to have to make their money back somehow that that people are going to have to pay for this. It's not going to be free from from match day two onwards. Um, will it be pay per view? That 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 seems to be the suggestion. It's going to be pay per view. Um, but nobody knows right now. Maybe it will be. You but then they have to do, like, they can't just charge people per game. They need to create a season pass or something like you that. You would think it's so, because it'd be too expensive and, and no one's going no to pay for that either. Yeah, of course they're um, not. So, yeah, I mean, I watched uh, I watched a couple of games on, on football. Um, the Fiorentina game, first game, Fiorentina I had on, 
Uh, there was no commentary in the first half, but the commentary suddenly appeared in the second half. Um, and and then it was I was watching uh, a bit of the Roma game, and it was it was free it 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 was freezing a little bit. It kept freezing now and again um, uh, as well. I mean that could just be you know growing pains first week. All that kind of stuff, you know. With the well, network. the city. I don't I mean, know. I mean, they need that. I mean, we know. Did that. you they, watch? Did well, you well, watch? happened with the zone. I know the zone. It's no, no, no. Did you? Yeah, I was going to say. Did you watch Milan Torino in the middle of the second half when it went blank? On what? Screen. On what network was this? Well, it was it was the Serie A that went blank. Oh, they were the ones producing it, or the mm. zone, or whoever's producing. The yeah. it just it just said test test or whatever it was. <laughs> it was great, and and I thought it was just me, but I saw online that everyone watching was like, uh, "What just?" Well, the zone has been a but the zone has been a running joke. I mean, that's all again on Serie. I mean, it, mm. everybody makes fun of it in Italy all the time. Mm. It does, so I don't know who's producing it. Cats on, they call it, don't they? C A Z N. Cats on. Cats on. But um, I mean, yeah. So I mean, we'll see what happens with the UK. But the, the point is that this has just been so bad handled the whole team. But yeah, we, Sweden, again, we don't know the value, Sweden, don't know the Sweden, value of the deal. Sweden, is, Sweden yeah. uh, has one. Norway, it's only on, I think you can go on, a, it's a newspaper, it's a national newspaper that's bought the rights only streaming online. Mm. But Sweden, it's a it's one of the, it's a network mm. that's had it for the last year or so that are going to have it for the next two seasons. They, they closed that the day before. Yeah, it's not been handled well. It's been one, handled one terribly. And obviously there's the value of the deals as well, which is important. That I mean, that is probably the most, well, it's the most important in terms of finances, but also as has been, uh, we, we've said so many times before, it's not just about going for the best financial deal because that that, that, that you have to be able to sell to someone who can put on a, could, you know, has a good product and because and, and, that's what helps to market and grow the league. And if you sell sell to someone who can't put on a good show, then you're actually, you know, which is what happened in India in some of the last recent rights cycles um, and then in the last one in that nobody was actually able to watch the game and it wasn't promoted. And then, and then really you're not growing the league, are you? So it's, it's, there's a lot of variables there, but, um, but just so everybody understands, um, because I did put out a tweet on Thursday, which went viral and there's a lot of anger uh, about how bad, badly mm. this has been handled. Mm. Who handles the international TV rights sales? So, Basically, the Lega Serie A and a sports marketing agency called Infront Sports, um, the way it has been handled in recent years is they divide the selling and negotiating of TV rights between them. Now, the Lega Serie A generally takes care or has until now uh, taken care of the big markets like the US, uh, MENA, which is the Middle East and North Africa, the UK, as far as I understand. In front sports until now generally have done much of the rest of the world, including the Asian market. Um, now, my understanding is that they are now working more closely together since Anna Guanerio, who is the, the head of international TV rights at, at Lega Serie A, um, until she, since she became the head of international TV rights there for over 20 years. Before that, she was at Infront. Um, so the two organizations basically work together. Um, I mean, the buck stops with Anna, of course, uh, and it's been terribly, terribly handled. Uh, terribly, terribly handled. And well, I mean, that's a title, isn't it? She's yeah. the head of international TV rights at Lega Serie A. Yeah. I mean, I've been speaking to a lot of people and I've been told that the Lega only started talks over... I'm not going to name the the, the, the the country because I, I don't want to give away uh, the most sources, but... I've been told that the league only started talks over uh, a few of these big countries, which which I've listed before, a few of the bigger markets, uh, three weeks ago. <laughs> Anna, Anna herself, that is. So, um, you know, I'm not, again, I don't want to put it all on Anna because I know there are cultural issues, uh, which we'll come to in a minute, but that is embarrassing. You know, why are you starting uh, to negotiate uh, but TV I mean, right, it's three not, weeks before see, the season starts. Why so late? Why didn't you do it months ago? Why didn't you do it at the well, start of the year? They didn't even do it with their biggest prized asset, which they love the most, the the, the Americans that are going to save us. They didn't. They didn't start that. When, when did that deal become clear? I, I, I'm not. I'm not sure. But Was it I mean, a week ago? Like uh, maybe five days ago? Think, four days ago? I mean, I th this is what they do. That, yeah. It's, it's, it's always last minute deals. And what, from what I've heard and understood, 
CBS basically won, told them we're not paying you what you want. Mm. And they got whatever they no, wanted. Financially, it was a terrible deal. I know there are reasons for that, um, the, the whole climate, you know, and, um, you know, I don't want to sit here and criticize the Americans. I actually think when it comes to marketing, you know, what they do, even the guys at CBS, I think that they do a, as good a job at any at trying to actually market the league, trying to actually... Uh, oh, I disagree with well, that. Well, no, what I mean by marketing... What you, I we, listen, you can, we can, we can talk that. about how they do it, whether you, whether you like it, but in terms of actually putting themselves out Do you out reach there, new audiences or not with your marketing? Or do you keep preaching to the choir? That's what I'm. That, that's what I'm interested in. I'm interested in growing. I'm interested in talking and finding new audiences that you retain. That to me is successful marketing. Yeah, preaching to the choir over and over and over again to people who already love the Serie A because they have a cultural, okay, that, that, historical, that's, that's family that's heritage. A... That is 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 good because you need to keep your base happy. Like when we mm. interviewed the CEO of Serie A um, in, in North America, that's great. I'm not interested in the base. I'm in because you've got the base and you need to take care of them. You need to respect them. All of that is true. What I'm interested is in is how are you going to reach new audiences? Yes, I know. And the that, answer that... to that has been to pay lots of money to bringing these idiots who cook naked, who cook Italian food naked, or I show speed who plays the whoever talks is gay game with Zlatan. <laughs> that is the strategy, apparently. That that seems to be the tone of what they're going yeah, after. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's, a, that's a pathetic. It is pathetic. It's not. That's, it's, it's that's beyond another talking pathetic. point. What I meant was that at least that they are uh, making noise. Let's let's say. Whereas in these other markets. Well, when people make noise that no one wants to hear, then it's essentially yelling out, yelling into the ether. That's my point. No. Ne- what is your strategy to reach new markets and to retain them? Not just flash in the pan a bunch of likes on Instagram. No. What is your long-term strategy and short-term strategy to grow the popularity of the Serie A in the United States and Canada? Because I, again, I believe firmly that this is this people like Italy. It's one of the few things most people on this planet agree on is that Italy is a place that most people have a very positive connotation to when they think of Italy. Whether it's the food, the weather, the history, the fashion, the the music, all of these things, and the football. I, I agree so the, with you. What I'm saying is, I'm talking about first of all, I'm talking about the whole process here. I'm talking about <coughs> selling the rights, actually getting the rights done. Uh, and then those markets actually being able to 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 to, to, to actually uh, at least be uh, you know visible. Let's say mm. in in these like in India, for example, they're not visible. There's no <laughs> visibility at all. So whether you agree with how, let's for example, CBS do things, what you know their whole marketing strategy and all that, uh, that's another talking point. That's that's further down the line. At least they're visible. At least there's visibility. At least they're they're trying to make some noise. That's what I'm saying. I'm, t- I'm talking at that mm. step, start the stage process. Then there's another. Then there's another talking point further down the line of how the whole. So you so you That's what I'm saying. Your bar, your bar, the bar is the bar so is low. low. Yes, the bar the is low. The bar is so low. It is literally well, put it this way, Nima, the souls of Satan's feet well, Nima, in hell. Nima, the Australia TV rights are sold four hours. You know, by then most of the most of the I know lots of people in the stadium. By then, most of the people, and we'll come to Paris soon. Most of the most of the Italian football fans have already gone out and bought IPTV boxes. And well, of because, course they have. Because they want to watch the games, it's too late. Four hours before, do. so they've already lost those. But that's you know, Malaysia. I've be, I've been told they started a few weeks ago to, to talk about. I've, I've got a really good friend that that, that lives in in Malaysia, um, who moved out there with his with his with his wife, uh, Italian uh, from Bedford. He's the guy that um, remember I went to the two thousand and six World Cup with, who uh, missed three of Italy's goals during the tournament because I. I wouldn't let him watch the watch the the corner kick. Is that the poor guy you terrorised in two thousand and six? Yes, yes, he's the one that <laughs> I, I I demanded not watch the corner. Yeah, because he because he, against Czech, yeah, we're in the, against the Czech Republic. Yeah, yeah, because I said that Italy would score if he didn't watch, and they did. And then Jesus and then I wouldn't. Let you him watch, are a menace. I wouldn't w- let him watch. You the, are a I wouldn't menace. let him watch the Totti goal. You ruined the World Cup for him. That's what you did. Well, yeah, but we won it. We won the World Cup, so it was better. Isn't it? <laughs> I mean, he could have he could have watched it, and we then went out. You know. You could have watched the Totti penalty against Australia and we missed it and we went out. So It has no correlation. <laughs> <laughs> Literally no correlation. Well, I, well I, but I stopped him from watching the Pirlo corner, which led to the, oh which led to the Grosso goal as well. You so are a terrorist. He, he missed three goals. He missed three goals in the tournament. Anyway, he lives, he lives in Malaysia. 
He moved to moved to Malaysia to get away yes. from you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, he lives. His name's Giuseppe. He lives in Malaysia, and um, he um, yeah. They, they still don't have they still don't have the rights. They are mm. furious. And it's a massive Italian. Yeah, football look, football Indonesia population. is the biggest Islamic country in the world. A lot of people don't know that, mm. but it's the biggest. It's it, you know, there's lots of people who live there, and they don't you know. They don't have the right. The, from what I understand, as of today when we're recording, there's no, there's no right. No, there. they are absolutely furious. They're the interclub, furious. the interclub of Indonesia has, I don't know how many hundreds of like sub chapters. They have eighty thousand members, paying members, something like that. That's just, that's just inter. Like yeah. the Milan, Juve, and then like it's. I've actually got, I've huge. actually got a quote here, and I'm going to read it out because Zeppi asked me. It's from, um, from his friend Charanjit Singh. Who is the head of the official uh, Juve? Always, always one of the one of the main guys at the official Juve fan club Malaysia, um, mm-hmm. which is absolutely huge. Just like the internet, yeah, yeah, they're but, massive. But you said, and he, I read out his quote because he he asked if I could. And he said, "Look, my message to Infront and the idiots running the TV rights distribution: you are the reason Serie A is called the Farmers League, as they can't even get their act together and leave huge swathes of Serie A fans in Asia in a lurch. Pretty soon, we will share similarities." With the Eredivisie, Turkish Super League, uh, and the Portuguese League, I mean they they are absolutely furious. Of course um, they are, and rightly rightly so. Um, and I think that one of the reasons, absolutely, is the Liga spent so much time worrying about America, thinking America is going to save us. <laughs> and, and even then, the deal that they did with 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 CBS, you know, there are reasons why it's so low. But the, the deal financially is is really not good. And we don't even know what the financial figures are of these last Hasn't minute deals out. they've done. You know, they're probably not very good either, I would imagine. Um, and then, you know, that plummeted from the last deal. Um, so, you know, why on earth they, they, they spent all that time worrying on America when they didn't even get a good deal? And then, you know, all these other big markets, they only started three weeks ago. I mean, the Premier League, the Bundesliga, which are competently run organisations, they started these talks, secured these deals months ago. You know, beginning of the year, they would be starting talks for the new right cycle. You don't start three months, three weeks before the season starts. <laughs> I mean, it's just embarrassing. And that's why I say they cannot sell life jackets on the Titanic. Serie A cannot sell hmm. life jackets on the Titanic. Hmm. No, they can't. They're awful. They're awful at it. Um, and it's time, um, to name, it's time to name and shame them. I'm sorry. I know, you know, some people, some people that, 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 have ties to Serie A were a little bit unhappy that I named uh, Anna Guarnerio, but I'm sorry. But the problem is that first of all, the buck stops with her. She's she, well, is, she is the head. She's of... the head of, of, of international TV, TV rights. She needs to be answerable. She she should be explaining herself. The problem that we have in Italy it's with Italian football with Serie A is that when there are these these fuck ups, when there are these scandals, <laughs> there's no one is no one ever comes out and no, yeah. there's no there's no names there's no faces no there's the no accountability thing, it's always just oh Serie A no, but it's is a not, joke or, no, or but Gravina you need, you, is a joke yeah. it's, it's, you know it's just that's it Gravina gets it all and he's, I'm not saying that he's any good either but but mm. you know it's always just it's just Gravina it's just Serie A as a mm. whole it's just Italy as a country we need to name name I mean it is a cultural problem as well there's no doubt about it mm. but we need to start naming names Anna Guarnerio answer yourself what what is going on why the hell is this such a mess you know and others as well. Like we always make fun of them of of the marketing. You know, the marketing is a joke in Syria. It's a complete and utter joke. Just look at look at the Twitter account and the absolute. You know, just l- listen to our Syria of the week every week and see that the fuck ups that go on on social media <laughs> when they're marketing. It's just embarrassing. Michele <laughs> Ciccarezzi is the commercial and marketing director. I've been told by a few people, but he's one of the main men. I've been told by a few people. He's always in New York. He's always in the Middle East. He's always rubbing shoulders with all the former players and he does nothing. His job is to commercially grow the league outside of Italy. How does he commercially grow the league? You know, and he goes and everybody goes boasting that they're conquering America. They're conquering the world. You know, the head of social media and all the goons working for them. I want to know who the name is. I want to know who is the person responsible for these people on social media that they embarrass the league every single week with some of them. Last week, what did they do last week, Nima? In the middle of when there's hardly any rights sold to half two billion people on earth, they go talking about how piracy kills football. Like there's being tone deaf, and then there's being I don't know what that is. No, they that, just they, that was their pirate, that was their campaign for match day one and match day two of Serie A. You see it before the games. 
piracy kills football in Itali- in Italian. I mean, a piracy campaign when you haven't sold any TV rights. I mean, you just <laughs> you just got a laugh. Well, what are the pirates stealing? There's nothing to steal. Yeah. No you t- haven't sold it. You haven't sold anything. I mean, it's you know what it's like. It's like a I was thinking it's like a farmer blaming like insects for destroying his crops when the when the when the when he never gives any of the crops any fertilizer or any sunlight or or any, or, water. Or any water moisture you know yeah. they're never going to grow and then you blame yeah. the insects for, 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 you know. yeah exactly that's what it's like no, it's, and then of course insane. area becomes a farmer's league there we go yeah. oh, nice little nice little <laughs> yeah you, you came full circle there yeah no, but it's. I agree with that. I agree with 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 everything you said there, and I think that it's not just the appointments and the people in charge. I think there needs to be accountability across the board. And I think when you look at how Bund- the Bundesliga handles themselves and how they systematically, there's I, I, what I love about German football is how rational they are and how bluntly matter of fact they are about the facts. They know their place in the food chain. They want to grow. They set up realistic targets long term and then they try to build towards that and then they move the entire german ecosystem towards that from stadiums to and this is in a league where it's fan owned like most of the clubs are not businesses they're owned by the community still and you look at how i mean just look at the production quality of a bundesliga game there in 2024 italy's in 1984 yeah and then you look at you wasn't know, there you a massive technical how... error before the Inter game as well, like to start the season? Yeah, yeah, there was no, a the, delay the, of like three minutes. Yeah, there was. <laughs> yeah, and then and then the referee couldn't get the the VAR thing to. I mean, it was whatever. And the, and the and the goal line technology wasn't working for the Milan game as well. Um, <laughs> you know, with that with, with the goal that got given, um, apparently mm. as well. Luckily, they they made the right decision, but you yeah. know. But anyway, that's another that's another talk mm. we put it together. But yeah, no, it's it's um it's 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 stuff like this that is so easily sorted that they just don't have the infrastructure in place to take care of. And the reason why we're naming people is because somewhere the buck has to stop. This is something that I find utterly astonishing with Italian media, is that nobody is talking about this. They only talk about the domestic rights. They don't... Un- it's it's as if... Like, there is another, there is a world out there. You're competing on a global scale. You're not just competing with the Premier League in Italy. You're competing with the Premier League everywhere and everyone else everywhere. And so that's where, you know, they don't talk about this and it needs to be talked about. And we know why it's not talked about because you 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 risk pissing off a lot of powerful people and, and, and they don't want to, you know, they want, they'd rather ignore it and silence it to death. No, and, 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 they're, it, and they're just working for themselves as well. That's, that's yeah. what they're working for. You and know, it's, they're, it's, they're not it's exhausting working. that yeah. it's exhausting that they don't do that because that, that that this is not a bigger scandal. Because I mean, I'll tell you this much: if if the Premier League failed to secure rights abroad in big markets and and had to resort to this, there would be an absolute scandal. No. The British media would be all over it, yeah. and I'm not saying the British media are any better, but they would be slaughtering them, mm. the the FA, for this. Oh, and heads, because and heads would roll as well. People, heads would roll. Heads would People roll. would People, have to resign. Yeah. You'd see organizational changes. You'd see mm. structural change because, because it's a cash cow that brings in lots of revenue and tax revenue. It's part of the global branding of the England as a, in the world. And so it's important for them to maintain, you know, that, that you know, a good service level and, yeah. and a good quality. Exactly. Right? And, then, and then that comes all down to the finances. And that's why, you know, Serie A teams have no money. And that's why we don't buy yeah. any players. I mean, that that's the last. We're just really more talking about, you know, serving your actual, your, your fans. Get, allow yeah. them to actually, can't even do that. actually be able to watch the games. Yeah. Can, yeah. can, well, are we able to allow, allow our fans to watch the actual matches? Forget about yeah. the money. No. You know? Yeah, no, no, seriously. Like, and we're then not they even talk talking... about piracy. They they, they yeah. say that piracy is killing football. I mean, it's just no, it's you, you, you piracy is not killing football when you can't even sell the rights. Like, what are you talking about? What are you on about? You can't even shore up your own base. The people who love your league, who will watch your league no matter what, you can't even get your product to them. That is the level we're talking about here. Hmm. Then we can talk about long term you know, growth and reaching new audiences. But you can't even preach to the converted. You can't even sell the product to the people who want your product globally. It's just... It's insane. 